Okay, hi everyone, we're doing um, Lenny's third lesson. Today we're going to, we started the first week with a little bit of touch, we're going to do more touch and we're going to move that on to target training with a target stick, which he's never done, so we're going to try and introduce that today and hopefully next week it'll be perfected <laughs> on a good day. Anyway, um, I started teaching the older Greyhound touch years ago, he's 12, so I would have taught him um, nine years ago. And the reason I it, touch is such a good thing for greyhounds is because you make touch really, really fun and you can be more fun than the other dogs in the park. So when you're teaching your dog to go off and play with other dogs in the park, you've got to have some backup up your sleeve that makes you more fun than the other dogs. When you want to get them back, you go touch, touch and make a game of it. This also leads to target training, but it's an exceptionally good thing to teach greyhounds. We're also going to do leave it, and leave it is um, a way of getting your dogs to know that leave it means you never ever touch it. So in the dog park, if you see a dead fish, your dog goes towards it, you say leave it, and they know you can never touch that. Where we live, um, there's takeaway food stores, and there's always cooked chicken wings thrown in the back lanes, and um, the greyhounds really want chicken, cooked chicken wings. And I, if I see one or if they have actually picked one up in their mouth and I say leave it, they'll spit it out. So it's an extremely good um, behaviour to have to teach them um, for safety. Um, so let's have a go with um, leave it and touch. Okay. I'm back. Sit. Sit. Good boy. So what I'm going to do is offer him treats in one hand and say leave it so he never gets those, he gets rewarded from the other hand. Lenny, keep up. Good boy. Sit. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. So the second he moved his head around, Away from it, I clicked and rewarded from the other hand. They learn pretty quickly that leave it means you get a treat from the other hand. It doesn't matter, it's a game. Hop, Lenny, come on. Yeah, sit, mate. Good boy. Leave it. He did it really quickly that time. So they do learn really quickly that leave it, you get rewarded from the other hand. You can switch the hands around, doesn't matter. Just as long as they know that leave it means you don't get it. It's really good. It's a really good thing to have in the park. Okay, so now we'll do some touch. Lenny, come on, Bob. Sit. Touch. Touch. Oh, that was too slow, sorry. Touch. Good boy. Yeah, Lenny. Touch. Touch. Come on. This is much better than he was doing before. It's much faster. Good boy. Touch. Puppy, here. No, it's reasonable. Lenny, touch. Good boy. Here, touch. You're going to get paid. Touch. Good boy. Touch. Len, Len, touch. Lenny, puppy, come on, touch. Good boy. Okay. He's still a bit slow on it, but once you get going, you jump around and get make it a really fun game. I want to try it with the target stick now. Lenny, hopefully over the coming weeks his touch will get quicker and you'll understand what a target is. Len, puppy, good boy. So I've rubbed some of the kangaroo sausage on the target stick. Touch, good boy. So what he's doing is going towards a target because it smells like kangaroo. And eventually, I won't do that. I won't need to do that. Lenny, pop. He's a little bit restless today, I might add, which makes it a little frustrating, but I'm not losing. I'm being patient. Touch. Good boy. What a good boy. And normally, I would cut it short or even stop it, but we're recording, so we're going to keep going, but be really, really calm and patient. Lenny, touch. Oh, I actually gave that to him. Touch. Hey, Bubba. Touch. Touch. No, he's over it. <laughs> so we'll finish it there. Good boy. Always finish on a high. And, um, yeah, 
if, if they're not into it, make it really short and sweet and finish on a, a positive. But hopefully in the next coming weeks, his touch will get better, his um, uh, targeting will get better. What this does is eventually you can move it on to touching cupboard doors, closing cupboard doors. It's the way we train assistance dogs to work with people in wheelchairs. And for Lenny, it will be, it's using his brain. He's never going to work with anyone with a wheelchair, but he will use his brain, which is really good. And also, um, in our classes, one of the owners taught their little dog, Elvis, to find his car keys, and that was his graduation trick. That woman actually lost her car keys in the park. She went, find the keys, Elvis, and he found the keys in the park, which is great fun for Elvis, but it's also really handy. So even though they're tricks, they're really good to, to have. So we'll see you next time.